after we instrumented up the Tesla and the BMW, what we did is we first rolled uh, the vehicles to the parking lot and we turned everything off and sat silently in the vehicle and hit record on our Observer 1000 and just recorded the background noise. We wanted to know what is the background noise even before we get on the road is there a dramatic difference in the background noises between the two vehicles while they just sit idle in the parking lot. And then what we did is we turned on the vehicles and took a look at what the vehicles looked like and, and the background noise once they started up. So I'd like to show you those results and um, the first is when they were both off. And so this is a comparison. The primary graphs that I want to focus on are these two at the bottom where we are looking at the Observeview's Octave Analysis software as we analyze the left microphone and the right microphones and compare them. And what we can see here is the overall decibel readings are rather similar. On the left microphone, almost identical 53 dB background noise. It's a little louder than the right microphone. I assume that's because the left microphones were next to the windows and the chirping of birds and any other noise of the external environment may have been picked up a little easier at the left microphone, but we're looking at very similar values on the left, slightly different on the right. Um, the right microphone, the BMW turned out to be slightly louder background noise, about 40 dB versus the 36 dB of the Tesla. And when you look at the PSD and we look at the frequencies, generally they follow a similar pattern. Let's take a PSD of the uh, rear view mirrors and focus on those. There's the rear view mirror of the Tesla in the Z plane. And let's take a look at the BMW rear view mirror in the Z. It looks like the Tesla has a little bit more energy overall um, across the frequencies on the mirror. Um, the microphones weren't picking it up, but just general background vibrations on the uh, rear view mirror are given a little bit more energy than the uh, BMW. But our analysis would be that at the off position, both vehicles have a very, very similar uh, background noise. Perhaps the BMW has uh, a slightly elevated background noise than the Tesla. The second part of our NVH testing before we went on the road was to start up the two vehicles and compare the noise and vibration that we were finding in those two vehicles. And the findings were rather interesting. The microphones are showing here that the BMW had on the left microphone 59 decibels versus the Tesla at 53. And the BMW with the right microphone was 58 versus 40 on the Tesla. So there was a very large increase in the amount of noise picked up by the microphones when the BMW vehicle started up, when the engine started, versus just the electric startup of the Tesla. So that's, I think, to some extent what one would expect. I was a bit surprised at how many decibels difference they were. One thing that was interesting that was not quite expected is if we look at the PSD, there is a rather significant increase across all frequencies for the Tesla compared to the BMW. So while the Tesla was noise-wise quieter, there was some vibration on that windshield. And that's a little difficult to uh, explain. It seems uh, a little contradictory or unexpected. 
And uh, this graph here of the waveform shows the uh, windshield and the accelerations on the uh, Tesla windshield versus the BMW. And there's quite a bit of, almost looks like noise, uh, quite a bit of hash on the uh, windshield. And it's true on the Z as well as on the X and Y axes on that windshield. And it seems to correspond, as I listen to the recordings, to as you turned on the Tesla, the fans of the ventilation system went on and the air conditioning went on and it appears to me that there is some um, vibration either from the air that's flowing into the cabin while the uh, ventilation systems are on or whether there was the windshield's picking up some of the vibrations of some electric motor that is running those things but there seems to be a correspondence between those two things and I was not expecting to find that and as we go through the rest of our road data, we do not see that. It only happened uh, during the startup. So it might be an area of further investigation. But overall, the Tesla was much quieter during startup than the BMW.